Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared and we got an unboxing here. This is actually in for sharpening. This is the new DX Alien Knives DX2 Mini. I think it's called the MIDI though. The MIDI DX2. MIDI with a D. Um, kind of like the Slim MIDI. Um, the DX2 Prototype in 14C 28M blade seal. So now this is just for sharpening, but I figure I'd show you guys anyways. Um, you know, I like doing unboxing sometimes on camera, so I don't do them all. Actually, I don't do probably half of them, but uh, for the sharpening stuff. But I decided to do this one with you guys. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got Betty Bang. Thank you for including the note. Um, that is very important to me. All right, let's just open these bad boys up. Okay, so this is the Riat Starboy. And that is a nice stone wash. First flip. Very cool. Very cool. So this is a um Tashi Baruka design. Oh, right there, yep. Ta Tashi Baruka. RWL 34 steel. Drop point blade. We're gonna Put a nice, good, fresh, clean edge. It, it still has a pretty fresh edge on there. It seems like a good factory edge. It looks pretty good, too. But some people just want to, you know, get some of that. Uh, ooh, that detent sounded really nice. Some people like to get that factory steel off. Get into some good quality steel with a nice, fresh edge. Man, that detent. I wonder if I can reverse. Oh, yep, I can. Very cool. Very cool. Good size, too. So I'm not reviewing this or anything. I'm just showing this off. This is just for... Uh, for you guys to look at the Riet Starboy. It's been out for a while. I'm sure there's plenty of reviews out there. But it's nice checking out some of these sometimes. Now this one, I actually own this model. Um, I don't have one here. So it'll be fun to look at. This is the Tucson ah, TS-162. I love this knife. Uh, the one I have is an S90V. So is this one. My detent on mine is very strong. This one's uh, medium. I've had two of them so far. Um, man, these things are so nice. These things are so refined. And this is a Wong design. So the lock bar, like this thing feels like React quality. And that's one reason why I love it so much. Uh, the geometry is insane on these. Nice and thin behind the edge. Very tall, thin, thin hollow grind. This thing has a good edge too from the factory. Tucson does good factory edges. Not all factories do a great job on their, um, for, on their edges, but Tucson does. But the ergos on this thing... It's so good. So good. Um, if you guys want to want to try a great Tucson, the 162 is a fantastic Tucson. And it's uh, titanium. Beautiful carbon fiber, titanium backspacer, T8s all the way around, and S90V. Now, mine is a stonewashed version. This one's a satin. So they probably come out with a couple different ones. The flipping action's really good on it. You can use the little fuller right here. Ergos are just insanity. Access to the lock bar is really good. Very, very nice. But yeah, very good Tucson to get into. Great plunge grind. Look at this. Look at that choil. That's a damn choil. But yeah, the, the blade shape and grind is just amazing. 
and it's uh, just it's done very well. You, all the edges just feel very comfortable in the hand when you unlock it. It's nice and soft to the touch. You guys ever like unlock the knife and it's sharp and it's like, ooh, it feels, it almost makes it feel cheap. But then you can get a really soft lock bar right here where when you unlock it, it's so comfortable. It just makes that knife feel expensive. That's the way this knife is. And you can get these for a great price. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.